Is anyone else's skin cracked and cold? Because it is the winter season. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a red carpet full coverage glam. I am giving you smoky eye with a bright red lip and some flawless skin. I am wearing this beautiful white, what looks like a loofah dress with just diamonds dripping from the turban, around the neck, on the hands, and the bracelet. And if you guys wanna get ready with me, please pull up a chair, grab your makeup. I miss the days where you guys would get ready with me if you're eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, a midnight snack, a second midnight snack, a third midnight snack. Sound off down below how you're watching these videos. I just love knowing how you guys are watching with me and connecting with me because this is a time for me to connect with you guys so without further ado if you guys want to see how I got this beautiful glam then let's get started and for those of you new don't forget that makeup is a one-size-fits-all I feel like I'm in a bank with all these little safe drawers back here. Ma'am. All right, guys, so to prep my skin, these two are my holy grail. This is the Dalba First Serum Spray, and also this is Secure the Blur. Y'all know, if you guys haven't tried this, y'all get it. But this has been my new obsession. I literally love this. You can get this on Amazon, amazon.com. Look up D, apostrophe A-L-B-A. This has plant-derived oils, and there's also vitamin E, and this also has white truffle. Don't mind if I do if from Italy I love using this to prep my skin just because it's been dry and I love using this at the end especially when I have all that powder y'all know I'm about to go in on my face right now spraying this on top of my makeup and then finishing the outfit and everything really really sets it in next I love taking the secure the blur primer and applying this on my cheeks where I'm very porous I have a pimple right here she doesn't even go here. And I'll do my eyebrows and I'll jump right back into the look. I know I've had this in literally a lot of my videos. Let me just explain. This is the broken one size mirror. Okay, we don't waste, we don't waste around here. And this is a phone stand that I will link down below in the description, but it holds iPhones, it holds iPads. It goes really, really big and it's really, really heavy. But one day I was like, let me just put my mirror in here. And it becomes this like adjustable stand. So I'm not having to like crouch down. So just disclaimer, if you guys see this annoying, ugly looking contraption, this is what it is. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Palette. Love this, obsessed with this. My favorite colors are this top right corner right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the eye. And I like to go really, really, really smoky and blend those three colors out. And I think today I'm gonna go for a red holiday lip because I'm wearing all white and there's a lot of rhinestones around my neck. Neutral, smoky, glamour. Tonight, the color purple has such a star-studded cast, which is insane to me. If I breathe the same air as Oprah, I know Fantasia Barrino is gonna be there, I know her, I know Taraji P. Hens is gonna be there, Danielle Brooks, who by the way, might be on my channel, cause we met at the musical Shucked in New York City, and I recall Oprah blessing her with the role that Oprah portrayed in the original color purple, and Danielle Brooks messaged me, and we might be doing something together soon. But Oprah, baby, everyone has always asked me like if there's anyone that you can see or meet or work with who would it be it was like tyra banks already did that check and oprah i love her i will faint if i see her in person but she better see me in the smoky eye okay she better see me oprah see me if you guys are wondering where we are <laughs> peter zoom out real quick <laughs> we are in my beauty room this is the new beauty room i did film a little bit here but we've never actually filmed with the lights and everything and i kind of like it. it's giving like og days is this chair squeaky as hell Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Guys, speaking of filming space, I literally might have a brand new studio. Hopefully, let me know if you guys wanna see a little tour of that. I still haven't given an office tour. I know, shame on me. There has been drama. There have been people scamming me. 
not at the office but in regards to getting the office stuff done i know it's hateful but if you guys want to see the office and all that let me know because i'm trying to get into like lifestyle work like sharing with me content but i don't know if you guys just want to stick to makeup or if you guys want to see those types of videos because i did do my moving vlog and i've been doing more holiday vlogs so let me know i like sharing with you guys you know what's so crazy guys i get so lost when i'm blending my eyeshadow this is the only brush that i use this one is the a11 from the makeup by ariel collection it just like fits so perfectly in the eye and i think the density and the shape of it i'm just so used to in terms of like diffusing it's literally a smaller version of his blush brush this one you know how this one is like very very sparse on the cheek this is like the smaller version of this. So for the lid, this has been like my holy grail. It's like a bronze shadow because I, I think I'm gonna do a red lip. I don't wanna do anything too loca. So I'm just gonna put this only in the middle just to give like this halo smoky eye. You guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have been filming a lot more on YouTube, but something inside me wants to be more vulnerable with you because the other day someone was telling me, you know that quote that you mentioned a long time ago, life opens up when you do really change my life. And I was like, oh my God, I should start practicing what I preach. And it's been a while, but I think having a business, there's just been so many hardships by having a business and working with lots of people that have been, I want to say probably the hardest, most challenging parts of my life professionally, parts of my professional life. I feel like I shouldn't pull the curtain back and share that with you, but just know that I've been through a lot having one size. I've learned a lot being a founder of one size and I feel like I'm at a place where I kind of want to like come back into YouTube because this is what I love. But at the same time, I've taken a lot of what I've learned on my influencer side and taking it to one side. With that being said, I had to really sacrifice a lot of my time here on YouTube and people are like, oh, I haven't seen you in a while or I haven't uh, seen you post, but traveling everywhere, people have said, oh my gosh, I, like, I grew up with you. I love watching you. Like, I love your makeup. And it's just like really, really cool that people are able to re-inspire me because I've inspired them or you guys out there. So I just wanna say thank you if you guys are continuing to watch my channel or if you're new here, Welcome to my channel, and I'm so glad to have you here today. And I think it's really cool that I get, I get to take you guys on events like today. Little me would have never dreamed to be having experiences like this, so I appreciate you guys. So my friend saw the color purple the other night. It was like a private screening, and he said that he was bawling. So in case I cry, which I might, this Point May liner is literally waterproof and it's matte black. And I'm using that on the top of my eye, but on the inside, I wanna make sure that, uh, I'm telling you guys, tie line with the black pencil version inside the waterline. It'll literally save you. Sorry, I was filming a TikTok like on the side. I'm trying to do YouTube and TikTok all at the same time, so <laughs> bear with me. I am taking a liquid foundation and this one is gorgeous. <laughs> I love this, the liquid foundation. And I am just applying this all over the skin. And if you guys don't know me, if you're new, I love me some full coverage. Don't be scared, don't be shy. I like taking it with a buffing brush and just going in. If you're watching it there, are you guys one to try new things like right when you see them? Or are you guys like, no, I can't change my routine. I'm one of the people that can't change. Early in my YouTube career, I find myself not willing to try new stuff because I'm like, oh, this works for me. I can't get rid of them. Like once I like something, I like something and I'll stick to it. That's why it's hard for me to like review products and be one of those girlies that like try something new. It's like, oh my gosh, like my skin is so specific. I have to stick to one thing and one thing only. For example, the Beauty Blender. How long has the Beauty Blender been around? I've been using this tool. It's not like, oh my God, I wanna try a new tool just because it's that good. To everyone out there just watching or intrigued by my makeup process, full coverage doesn't necessarily have to mean matte. That's one thing that I feel like I have to disclaim because you guys know I love my powder. I love doing the full beat, but people that are dry that wanna cover their redness or their acne. Don't be shy, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to try new things. And you could still get away with it being glowy and pretty without looking too crazy. Three concealers that I love. Obviously, the one size butter silk concealer. The closest one that is like very viral. It's very, very hydrating. I kind of layer this to kind of brighten. And then this one, this one is the, what brand is this? What logo is this? Is this Givenchy? You know this brand? And this brand, I'll put it on the screen. I have been obsessed with this Say Cream Bronzer because the last one that I tried was the Huda. 
and I literally completely went through that one. This one is a little bit more stiff, waxy or balmy than the Huda one. The Huda one is like really, really, really creamy, but this one really gets it nice and stiff. I feel like it's not gonna slip inside. The, the Huda one did make me feel like it would slip inside. This brush doesn't exist. I still have like the tag of the sample, but I love using this end to kind of carve and then this end to kind of buff. Because I am wearing white, I want to make sure that my creams really, really blend, especially in photography. You know what just came to mind? Do you guys wonder if celebrities like do their own makeup for the red carpet? Like here I am, beauty influencer, you know, content creator. Like I've been doing this and attending events and doing my own makeup, but throughout the years, I've learned how to do my makeup for like certain events. Whether that be for a campaign or event, red carpet, right? It dawned on me if celebrities do their own makeup. And one celebrity that did confess to me personally was Gwen Stefani. She said, yep, something happened. I did my makeup for the Met Ball. And that was impressive but she's she's a glam girl but all these other celebrities i'm like hmm, do you think kim would ever attempt her own makeup for like a huge event like the met ball would she or kylie would she like is it just the the, the comfort or or is it the feeling of having other people do stuff for you that make it glamorous like what are your thoughts oh another celebrity that i know does her own makeup is brandy miss cinderella why don't y'all comment down below and make a list of who you think does their makeup for special big events and who doesn't for sure doesn't you know what it is guys the cream bronzer this one, how stiff it is, reminds me of the cream blush. Revelation. Revelation. Yeah, I think that's why. It's like has this like stiffness, but it still blends and melts into the skin. All right, guys, so to bake, I'm gonna take the ultimate powder in the shade Translucent. You guys know we have Ultra Pink and Sweet Honey and Dark Deep. Translucent is just my go-to. I know it's a lot of powder, but I am going to dust it off and I'm gonna spray the Dalba spray wherever she is, on my face at the very end. This is the secret. Like when you have great skincare before and after, everything just starts melting in the face. And also what tells me that you guys love this was that so many people were freaking snatching this up on TikTok shop. I literally went live for two hours on Black Friday and there was like crazy discounts. I believe they're still on TikTok, but it just blew my mind because we sold out of Secure the Sweat. We sold so many Ultra Pinks and the Ultimate Setting Powders. It was really, really, really insane. So if you ever want to try the Ultimate Setting Powder or anything one size, Go dabble and go to my uh, TikTok shop. There's a little shopping bag right on my profile. You guys can see it there. Snatch yourself one of the products and get you those discounts, okay? Because I don't know how long they're going to last, but that's a steal. Next, I'm going to take my Turn Up The Base Powder Foundation and dust this. Guys, this was revolutionary for me when I look back at the whole brand. I am in the shade Medium 5 Golden. This is like a go-to for me. I think I am going to bump in a little bit of Stage White as well. But this brush right here is the Hourglass brush is double-ended. I know I'm making a mess. Look at this. Oh my god. I'm just gonna buff this into my skin. And then this is a trick that I only pretty much do on special occasions. This next one. I like to take light five on a beauty blender and press this under my eye. It is a very drag race of me. Are you guys in the new cast? Do you love? Do you live? Do you hate? I love it. I love this trick too because it gives me that powder like bright under eye. Y'all look at this. This is so crazy to me that I hit pan on another product that's not my own. This one's really good. This is the Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Dark. I just just try new things. I was like shopping. I was like, let me just try it. I love Mario. I love his brand, fellow founder. I love using this with the Pro Highlight Brush. This is a fan brush. It's meant for highlighting, but I love taking this fan brush and going in with the powder and sculpting right there because it gives me that nice quickity quick quick. <music> This is like literally so insane. Like I love how snatched it looks. My pimple is pimpling right here. We're gonna do the red lips. So red carpet, red lip, tis the season, it's the holidays. I'm gonna go ahead and take the one size red lip liner and the one size red lip. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of prime fish, which is a little bit of a richer red, apply on the outside of my lip and gloss it up just a little bit and hopefully it'll give us a beautiful look. This is the look. I like it so far. Smile check. Lips could be a little bit crooked, but I'll just pose like this. I'm going to take the Dalba spray and I'm going to spray this all over liberally to melt 
all of the powder. Again, I love this. If you guys want to snag it, it's literally on Amazon. And it literally melts all the powders. Because you guys saw I used a lot of powders. But you guys see, it's giving this kind of like skin-like glow. Even with a full ass beat face. Gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll change. And I'll see you right back with the finished look. This is the finished look. Guys, I'm looking at the monitor. My skin is smooth. It is beat. I am painted. And I feel like I have a lot, but without doing like crazy, crazy, like drags, clowns makeup. It feels that way when you're watching my videos, but the result is just so seamless and so beautiful. And when I tell you guys, I got so many compliments on the red carpet from the photographers and some of you guys that I met, you guys have said that you watch my videos. It really means the world to me that my makeup that I do online here for you is also something that I could wear out in real life and in person. It does look like a lot, but I feel like it's just what works for me and my skin. I know some of you guys resonate with me on that. I think it's like stuff like this, like the spray. I was just powdering again just a little touch up and then spraying it but I feel like products like this the Dalba spray get it on Amazon melt your powders and it will just look beautiful and soft and seamless so if you guys love this video let me know down below shout out to Oprah Winfrey and Steven Spielberg for inviting us to the world premiere of the color purple be sure to check it out in theaters thank you to Warner Brothers I love you guys so much don't forget makeup is a one size fits all and hope to see you all in my next video bye